Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday in January 6th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, then we'll look at Ethereum, and then XRP. So uh, yes, Bitcoin had a massive rally there. We were up more than we are up more than nine percent, and we are testing these previous highs. We are significantly overbought. Just keep that in mind. Technical indicators are still very bullish, so we may and try and test uh, 35,000. If that breaks, then we are going all the way to 40,000. If you look at the, not the Fibonacci, but the Bollinger Band, we can see that we are again outside of the Bollinger Band, and that is basically a massive warning. We need, frankly, a major pullback towards at least 30,000, or the middle of the Bollinger Band, that's 26,500, and stay there for technically a while before rallying significantly higher. To buy it here is just enormous risk, and uh, yes, it is not a good idea. Pullbacks towards the middle here are basically your buying opportunities, even though we are significantly overbought, even probably also if we fall down to these levels here. But people are buying this at any price at this point. At this point. And as long as that is the case, they will most likely go higher, If even though it doesn't really make any sense whatsoever. If we look at, for example, the weekly chart, we can see that we have this extremely bullish candlestick here, but we are at 94 in the RSI. This is a massive warning sign that we could basically break significantly lower. I would not be surprised if we broke all the way down to 20,000. I have been expecting that for a very long time. That is the previous highs over here back in 2017. It would make sense that we basically would test that area again and because this just can't continue forever at some point this rsi number for for the weekly chart has to come down and when we are this overstretched when this fall is going to be astronomical so if you look at the fibonacci retracement also for the weekly chart bottom to the top here we can see that the first fibonacci retracement is at 22 or 23,000 roughly the next Fibonacci, the 50, is roughly at 19,500 19, or around 20,000. And then we have to go all the way down to 15,700. This is possible. A fall towards the middle here um, to roughly 20,000 or the previous highs here. That would make uh, a lot of sense. Um, and we have basically done that also in the past. If you look what basically happened here over here and also yes basically those two examples so at this point it is not a good idea to buy it here it's just pure simple stupid to buy it here even though we have days like this you're just gambling if you're buying it here so pullbacks are basically buying opportunities but we haven't seen the pullback that is necessary in order to get a good value for bitcoin basically. So let's look at Ethereum. So same thing here. We need to go to the daily chart first. We are way outside of the, the Bollinger Band. We are going to probably going to test these previous highs again, 1164, uh, um, and then break down. This never ends well. It's the same for Bitcoin. Uh, it never ends well when you're this, uh, this exposed outside of the uh, our, the top of the bullish band. It will basically pull you back towards the middle, and that is roughly 746 at this current stage. There's also the previous highs here. That is most likely where we are going to go in not even the long run. It's going to be the short run and medium run. You're just going to see a pullback towards the middle here. Technical indicators for this are turning around. They are still very bullish. The CCI is at 251. So there's a long way down to until it begins, becomes bearish. The same goes for stochastic and the same goes for the MACD. We are at 88 in the daily chart in the, in the, in the RSI. We're significantly overbought. 
So buying it here is just playing with fire. It is a bad idea. Wait for the pullback and then you can basically buy into this. Even the weekly chart for, for Ethereum is now also at 92. It is, it basically, we haven't been this high since all the way back to 2018 or by the end of 2017, where we basically fell from the very highs of 14, uh, 1,405 all the way down to these lows of 88. So keep that in mind. That is a very, very nasty drop. And uh, we're doing basically the same thing now. Uh, so yes, let's look at the last cryptocurrency. So XRP. So we did rally here quite significantly and also as well here, when you basically get out of sight of this Bollinger Band, you can expect this to basically collapse. So this collapsed um, basically in, uh, in the beginning of November. So we need to get the daily chart here. It was basically in the beginning of uh, or the end of November, we, we, we topped and now we're basically trading below these previous, um, this previous range. So we're trading at 0 0.2221 at this current stage. We're trading underneath all of these um, moving averages. We're not even at the bottom of the bullish band. So that is quite frightening because we could basically pull even further towards the lower part of the bullish band before going higher. We should have a lot of um, resistance above here. This isn't really tradable until we get above these moving averages and start trending above the 50 uh, the 20 exponential moving average. We're actually under the 200 moving average at this current stage. Technical indicators are looking like they are turning around. There's a long way until this becomes bullish again. So um, just keep in mind, when we manage to cross the 200, the 20, and probably also the 50 and start trending up again in a normal trend, if that occurs because the last time we basically broke down it basically did nothing for a very long time but i think people are going to uh, get interested in these um, lower cost uh, cryptocurrencies um, for example bitcoin is uh, trading above 30 uh, 30,000 at this current stage this is trading at 0 0.221 this is where bitcoin was back in 2011 before it went uh, bananas. And people are probably gonna look at this and say, okay, it happened for Bitcoin, why it doesn't really, it could also happen for this cryptocurrency. So they'll probably take the chance, put their money in this cryptocurrency, as you basically see, it can move parabolical. People earned roughly 300% in this move here, and then could earn another 300% by shorting this again. So the money is basically, the probability is there, um, my problem with the cryptocurrency market is that I'm afraid there are just going to be too many cryptocurrencies that the market is just going to be overrun. It will basically be no, make no sense when the, there are thousands and thousands of cryptocurrencies. It's already thousands and thousands of cryptocurrencies. So that is the big problem I have with this market, that there's basically no limit until how many cryptocurrencies there can be even though there's a limit of how many Bitcoins there are and so on. But the amount of, bit of types of cryptocurrencies, there is no limit whatsoever. So at this current stage, I'm just going to wait what basically happens here. It is interesting. You, uh, you could basically put in a few thousand dollars and basically see what basically happens here because you could get lucky and have these massive rooms to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.